Hey Taurus, I hope you're all well. This is going to be a general love reading for mid-September 2021 for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. And it is general, so it's not everybody's situation. But of course you can check out one of your other signs, one of your person signs, or you can get a personal reading. And keep in mind that the roles can be reversed because this is a general reading. So let's see what is going on with Taurus. Mid September. All right, so for the overall energy, we have walking away. So somebody is walking away from a connection here. Um, could be you, could be your person. I tend to feel like this is you. So let's see. Yeah, Mannix, you can stay on the desk as long as you are behaving yourself, not knocking the cards over. Yeah. So you guys have a nice view of this tail. <laughs> Let me just move over a little bit. All right. I don't know if that's any better, but we'll see. All right, so Taurus, what is going on with you? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Second half of September. Oh, okay. So here's how we're doing this. We have the King of Swords for the situation crossed by the Four of Pentacles. Recent past, we have the Knight of Wands. For the near future, we have the Wheel of Fortune. For your energy, we have the Emperor. For them, the Eight of Swords. More about you is the Seven of Pentacles. For them, the Six of Swords. And the potential outcome here is the Nine of Wands. All right, Taurus. I think I remember your last reading being a little bit on the heavier side, so I feel like it, things are looking a little bit better for you. Um, Mid-month to the end of the month, again, time is fluid, so it could be a little further out in the future for some of you. For others of you, it could be what is happening now. Um, so for the situation here, there is a decision either that you're trying to make or some action that you're trying to take or you're trying to just be really, really firm when it comes to something. Um, if this is you, could be your person. I feel like there may have been some ego that is hold that was holding you back, or maybe that is the challenge here. You might be holding on tightly, or I mean, I tend to see the the Four of Pentacles as also being a little bit stubborn, which can be one of your characteristics. So there might be a little bit of holding on a little tightly to something here, which might be preventing you from taking action or from making a a decision or finalizing possibly that decision. There's definitely been some instability um, for you and another person here in the in the recent past. Um, this could even be somebody um, having player-like characteristics. All right, doesn't have to be, but definitely a little bit of instability, maybe some in and out type of a behavior. For you here with the Emperor and the Seven of Pentacles, I feel like you're really trying to find your power, find your power, find control um, over your own self, over your own life when it comes to, to this connection. And I feel like you're beginning to take some steps here towards whatever that is. Um, I'm not sure if I said the Seven of Pentacles. I think I said the Seven. It's actually the Eight of Pentacles, okay? So you're definitely being focused here on what it is that you want to achieve or certain steps that you want to take. Um, there's another person here that is feeling a little bit trapped maybe or um, maybe even obsessed, possibly holding on to some fear. This person does have the Six of Swords though, so I do see some that this person is also trying to move away either from conflict, trying to find some peace maybe, or maybe even avoiding um, these feelings that they're having that are keeping them trapped. So we'll see more when we clarify. I do have a feeling that this is a little bit complicated, just like the last reading I did for you. Um, 
Some change though is coming up. Things are turning in a different direction here and for the potential outcome, having that nine of wands, I feel like, you know, things might feel challenging for you, but, but I feel like you're pushing through. I feel like you're finding some determinism here. So let's clarify. Let's see this King of Swords with the Four of Pentacles. Interesting. I usually get at least three cards out for the main energy. So we have the Ten of Pentacles, all right, really um, being emphasized here, which is why it came out on its own. So this is telling me that there's um, some kind of a commitment here that is pretty strong, um, meaning that it's either marriage or just a very serious commitment, or there's something that is really tying you to this, which could be why you've been holding on to it. It could be for financial reasons, having both the Ten and the Four of Pentacles here. Let's get, or maybe just for some stability, some security. Let me get a couple more. All right, we have the Five of Cups and we also have the King of Wands. So there's um, feelings of feeling pessimistic about this. I feel like you, you're you feeling like you don't know, um, maybe if you have the strength to make a decision or to be more firm or whatever it is that you're trying to do here, whatever action it is that you're trying to take. Again, don't forget the roles can be reversed. I'm just seeing this as being you. All right, the way that it is showing up, it could be your person. I feel like there's also some disappointment um, within this connection or particular commitment that you are involved in, which may or may not be this person. It may be a situation like work, um, but I'm mostly seeing it as being some kind of a um, commitment with another person. Let's see the Ember for your energy. Four of Wands and the Seven of Swords. So you're trying to find stability within your own self is what I'm getting here. Um, trying to find that sense of control because I feel like you feel like there's something here um, in this connection that is just not feeling right. Something that is just feeling like it's off or that you feel like you you are staying in this or that you have been in this without it feeling um, without feeling like that that sense of stability or the sense of security like goes both ways. So maybe somebody is not being very consistent, maybe somebody else is being a little bit dishonest and you're picking up on that, or maybe somebody is just avoiding something within this connection. So for that reason, you're trying to find that sense of stability within your own self to move away from that. And I feel like it is a challenge for you. It's not something that is easy. But again, I feel like you're really focused. Let's see the Eight of Pentacles. I just got a message that for some of you, and this is going to be for a specific group, so it's definitely not going to be for everybody, but I feel like for some of you, you're really trying to find a way to like get out of this and almost like you, it's, it's hard to explain because you're not the one feeling trapped here, it's the other person feeling trapped, but almost as if you need to find um, either more of a basis for your own self, like a reason, like a justification, in order to um, fully walk away from this. And I feel like the message here is that really you don't, you don't need that. You don't need to have a justification. You not feeling the connection or just feeling like something is off or feeling like at the moment at least, all right? Because it doesn't mean that this is, you know, um, the forever and ever um, outcome here. 
But if you're feeling this at the moment, you really don't need a justification to your own self. So for the Eight of Pentacles, <laughs> you heard something? What did you hear, Mannix? Go check it out. Go check it out and report back to me. <laughs> All right, so for the Eight of Pentacles, we have the Four of Cups and the Nine of Wands showing up again. Yeah, you know, it's coming in at like you're settling or something here ha is causing you some some disappointment or just not feeling not feeling very good. Um, and that is what is actually making you work towards finding a solution. I feel like you are you are very focused and you are putting in that effort because you don't want to be in this state much longer. And again, like like I said, it's not easy. And it, I do feel so oftentimes with the Nine of Wands that it can be feeling trapped, feeling like there's no way out or feeling like that finish line is never coming, like you're trying, 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 but you, you don't know if you're getting to the finish line. But I see that the more that you put in this effort and move in the direction that you're feeling called to, right, feeling empowered, that is helping you to push through and, and to finally... See that you do have what it takes. You are strong enough. I feel like you've been hurt in the past here. And so that can make it more difficult, which is ironic, right? Because you would think that if you're feeling hurt, well, then that's pushing you away. Um, but it's, it's, it's like sometimes that wounding can actually put us in this place of the five of cups, the four of cups, and then that can kind of like kill your motivation or that that pain can kill your, um, your drive, your strength. It drains your energy. So I feel like it's, it's something like that that is um, going on with you. Let's see for this person. But again, you are pushing through. So we're clarifying the eight of swords. All right, we have the Ten of Swords, the Queen of Wands, and the Queen of Cups. All right, so this person here is um, actually feeling a lot of pain, possibly feeling some confusion, not really knowing what to do, feeling like, like this is just either done or just not knowing how, how to go about um, solving the issue or resolving the issue. I'm not sure if there are other people involved. It is definitely a possibility here. I feel like if there were other people involved, this is something that this person is wanting to um, end. I don't feel, I'm not seeing like, like a strong commitment with other people, but it could be that this person, like I said, you know, if this, if when I talked about this Knight of Wands, like this player or, you know, in unstable type of energy resonated with you, it definitely could be this. Um, I don't think that it was anything serious, but this person may be wanting to end that kind of behavior here, but I feel like they're still like in their head about it. Like there's still some fear, still really not knowing exactly what to do. Um, for others of you, I feel like this is a person who is just feeling trapped with you. Not in the negative sense, but more of not wanting this to be done because they feel like that's, that's very painful for them. Um, seeing you as this Queen of Wands here, you know, the, that they, they do find you desirable, they do find you um, the person that they want to be with. It's actually like a lot of mixed messages coming through because I feel like... It's almost like this person is feeling... Oh, it's, it's, it's so weird the way this is coming through. Really confused, really confused about it. Um, really confused about this ending, really confused about you walking away. Almost like, like they feel like this is like ending as well, but at the same time not wanting it to be ending. I feel like this person just really doesn't know. It's painful, it's painful to them, but they really don't, don't know, they're in their head about it. 
about how they feel about it. Um, let's see the Six of Swords. Again, roles can be reversed. Alright, the Five of Pentacles, the Hierophant, and the Ace of Pentacles. Alright, yeah, so I feel like this person is actually kind of, um, again, with the hyphen showing up, I, I can't help but feel like there is, there is a strong commitment here, like it's, there's either a marriage or there's some other, some other commitment that could be situational. I feel like this person is allowing themselves to move away from this, like I said, they're confused about it, so I feel like they just want things to be peaceful. Um, so they might also be walking away from this or they might be trying to, but it is causing them um, some feelings of loss. It's causing them to feel um, either either abandoned at the same time or just it's not making them very happy even though they are trying to move towards um, to see if, if another path is available here. Very um, strange energy here, Taurus. And I just had the sun um, fall out to clarify the Wheel of Fortune. Let's see if we get anything else. So that's actually really positive. I feel like things are things are taking a turn. Things are taking a turn here. All right. So we also have the Tower and the Seven of Cups, though. Um, things are taking a turn. It's, I feel like it's a major transition. It is something that, yeah, it can feel like, it can, it can oftentimes feel surreal, like you don't really know what to do. There's some confusion here. Um, but the wheel is turning for the better, all right? So trust in whatever this process is. Trust in whatever this tower is. Trust, you know, that even if you don't really know and if you, even if you feel like you can't see things clearly, that the wheel is turning. Things are shifting. There's a major transformation that is happening here that is leading you to happiness all right so let's see the nine of wands ooh, 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 okay so we have the king of cups the knight of cups and the page of cups So yeah, you know, it, it's a struggle, right? It's a struggle. Um, you're pushing through. I feel like you're, you're putting in that effort. I feel like you're really giving it your all at the moment. And what this is saying is, is that that is going to pay off because that is leading you to love. That is, whether it's with this person or with somebody else. All right, also, yeah, I forgot to mention we have um, your energy showing up here and this person's energy. So yes, again, that would also reflect this person feeling abandoned by you. Um, we also have Leo showing up here. Yeah, but of course could be any sign. All right, and we have a whole bunch of, a whole lot of water showing up here as well. Um, so yeah, this, this walking away is leading you straight to love, basically. Continue to push through. All right, Taurus. If this resonated, let's see the final message for you. And we have Journey by Moonlight, Believe in Magic. Yeah, it's probably hard at the moment to believe in magic, but believe that things will get a lot better for you, all right? Just keep doing what you're doing is what I'm getting here. You're, you have control. You now have control over your life. So, Taurus, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching and much love.